Here we have a 2016 M case assortment from Hot Wheels. It's an international mix. Hopefully it's not empty. Get it? Empty? Okay, that was bad. Let's go ahead and see what we have. You know the uh, treasure hunts in this case are not going to be attractive, but there are some uh, regular basic models that are probably, actually definitely, more interesting than both the basic treasure hunt and the super. Of course, if you find them, that would be great. The super treasure hunt could be one of those two cars. It's pink, but the super treasure hunt has special paint rubber tires. And as you can look, here we have the drift stuff. This is the car that you might find it getting a super rights treatment. It'll have spectra flame paint, rubber tires. Uh, I don't know if it has a TH on it or not, but uh, glad to see a pink car. And it looks great. It looks fantastic. I'm sure some people who like to collect pink in their collection are going to like picking this one up. These are just basic issues. Again, if you find one with, with rubber tires, that's a more limited release. That's what would be called a super treasure hunt. And it's only in this M case assortment. And then the next case will be in and there'll be another card that's going to be designated the super treasure hunt and the basic treasure hunt. I'll get to the basic in a second. Hey, the Beatles Yellow Submarine carries over into the M case. That's fantastic. I was talking about the treasure hunts and those are just kind of uh, models that are a little more limited and uh, they're only in, they might be in the cases uh, and they have a different one, a different basic and a different super every month or every four weeks, I should say. Two timer in gold. Here you have the custom 77 Dodge van. And here is a fun model. Now adults might not get it. Well, most adults. This Minecraft is a huge, here you have the mine cart. It's for a game called Minecraft. And there's, there's a lot of people that play this game. People have been asking me to play the game. And it's like, eh, I don't have time. Well, you can, you can get popular videos on YouTube. But if you do a search on YouTube for Minecraft, you're going to find over 5 million searches. I believe that's how many videos there are for Minecraft. Uh, no thanks. But yeah, <clears throat> you have different characters that ride these crafts. And you know what? In Europe, they actually have this model with, I think, six different packages. It's not in the basic cases. I think they got like a special assortment of cars. This model's the same in every package, but then you get a different character up here. Now, maybe we don't get it. You know, maybe adult collectors, and why would you buy the same package just for a different, you don't get it. It's not your thing, let it go, okay? If you don't get it, don't criticize the package because uh, you just don't know. It's not your thing. It's not my thing either, but you know, I'm just saying. Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Glad to see back in the basics. Yeah, looking good. You have some taillight uh, decorations. Now this has a, a metal spoiler, a metal wing that is part of the body. That is not a separate piece. I don't remember if this casting actually had a separate spoiler if it was, or if it was always a uh, unibody. I'm not sure. Wow, that looks, that looks fantastic. Definitely looking for extras of that one there. Here's a Toyota Supra. Uh, I like the graphics. Interestingly, you know, some people, people like the Toyota Supra, but they don't seem to be hard to find on the pegs at all when it gets released. At least not here in uh, California. Renault, Renault, um, you got me. Renault Sport RS01. Love this casting and it looks great in silver for this release here. The yellow was fantastic. A little uh, printing up on the uh, top of the windshield there. Renault Sport, even right here, look on the uh, hood. You even have RS01 on the hood. I don't remember if that was on the yellow version or not. Uh, I like seeing this casting in the mix and I'll be picking up every color that they release of that. Here you have rapid response. Mm, I think you could pop the back off, but it's uh, translucent. You can see like a uh, medical bed. It's rapid response, right? So it's like an ambulance or something. Uh, you can see like a bed on that side and on this side are like, uh, I think, uh, cabinets. I'm not sure. Boombox. Now this is the basic release, plastic body. Uh, last case. This was a super treasure hunt last case. So if you find this one with, uh, a metal body and it's kind of has special paint, rubber tires, that was the super treasure hunt for the last case. 
So, hey, if you run into some old cases, you know what to look for. You should, you should know what to look for anyways, right? Rubber tires are a dead giveaway in the basics. BMW M4 in white. I think this one, uh, this is probably the third color for this at least. Maybe more. I just remember recent history. 70 Camaro. Yeah, flame series. Can you guess? Looks great. I like that. And here you have the 15 Dodge Charger SRT. I've been picking up extras of these because I'm thinking about doing another RIT dye video and white bodied cars. You can take the uh, RIT dye. It's what they use to uh, dye fabrics, but uh, you can use it to dye metal cars, metal bodied cars, particularly with white paint. The white paint absorbs the dye very well. Uh, here you go. Escape Brigade carrying over into the next mix. Honda Racer, two samples of the Honda Racer. Voltage Spike, you know, there was a couple in the last case too. Hopefully uh, not so much, not too many. Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. I know this was in the USA L case. L case, this is M, right? I know this was in the USA L case, but I don't remember if it was in my uh, worldwide L case or not. I don't remember, to be honest with you. Got a lot of things going on. Blitz Speeder gets a new color. I haven't uh, tested this one out on the track. And yet, this video, you can make a suggestion or two for track time if you'd like here on my YouTube channel. Here's another Escape Brigade. Good to see a couple in the uh, case because I'll be looking for extras of that for myself. Uh, Bad Ratitude, mm, it's okay. Not exactly a popular model, but <clears throat> Mattel has the tooling, so they got to utilize it. Here you have the uh, Honda Odyssey, again, carryover. It's not the first, it's, when I say carryover, it means it's not the first appearance in the cases. It was in a previous case assortment as well. Now with the Tank Nader, it has a spot for you to put different figures. I, I kind of like looking at this. I like how they mix the wheels and they have these uh, the t big tires in the back with the treads. And in the front, they have like smooth tires. I like because it gives it that nice triangular uh, appearance right there. I like how that looks myself. Here you have the Need for Speed SRT Viper GTSR. That's already been in the last mix. Two samples. Mm, same wheels, same wheels, no errors. Okay, next. Old 442W30. Hey, guess who's back? There you go, Carbonator. And here's the uh, second color of this year's Custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. It's one of the art cars, so it has a letter on the top, W. And the last one was kind of like a teal green, something like that. And if you didn't know about Carbonator, it's part of the HW Tool in One series. And you can use it to pop open uh, bottle caps. That's what that's for right there. You can pop it open, pop open your bottle cap. And as a matter of fact, if you didn't know about it, this front part you can use to lift your uh, soda cans. You can use the front part to... Uh, Put your finger underneath there and lift the pull tab so you don't break your fingernails, <coughs> guys and ladies. I don't want to uh, discriminate, you know. Another two samples. This is a carryover. Chrysler 300C and another Tesla Model S. If you wonder why does Mattel carry over cars to the next mix, well, you know, these, these are just mass-produced cases and uh, maybe you didn't get them in the last case. Now it's in the next case. Now's your chance. Another sample, two in, I think this is the second one out of this case, of the Custom 01 Acura, the Integra GSR. And I forgot to say in a video before, you know, the art cars, and it's, it spells out, uh, it spells out, I forgot how I phrased it, I phrased it wrong. I said, you can spell out something, and then I changed it to, well, you can make a phrase. And the reason why it makes a phrase and not actually just spell something out is because the, the last car you need for the 10 cars, this is number 8 out of 10. This is the last one, and this will give you 16 for the 2016 model year, 2016 HW Art Cars. Here we have MR11. Not exactly a pop car. Uh, after, the car tends to hang around a little bit. 70 Ford Escort. Cut. Jeez, what's what's up with the allergies, man? 70 Ford Escort RS1600 and flyby. Vroom. I like this art car. It looks fantastic. Very uh, eye appealing. As a matter of fact, 
all of them I think all of them off the top of my hand I think I've liked all of them so far here's your flames Pontiac GTO 65 Pontiac GTO has a yellow window to go with the yellow flames This is a fantastic new model, 15 Mazda MX-5. No, did I say Mazda? 15 Mazda MX-5 Miata. So now, oh man, look at that. I hate that. I hate getting flashing in the wheels. I know you can call that an error, but I can't stand that. Let's look at this one. This one prettier. Here you go. Got a big metal wing. This is a 2016 new model, first appearance, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is the first case that this model has appeared in. Yeah. So what would you put? Would you pick this model or would you pick T-Rex Troyer? I mean, it's up to you. It's up to what you, what you want to collect. You like fantasy cars? Fantastic. You like real cars? Fantastic. If you like treasure hunts, yeah, circle flame logo right there. It's a little hard to see in yellow. There's your teeny tiny circle flame logo. This is the uh, designated treasure hunt for this case. And behind the car, you can see the Circle Flame logo right there as well. Personally, I'll be looking for this one. Yeah, okay, I'll take one of these. But I'll, I'll get about two of these, or three or four. Hey, this looks pre uh, pretty good color for your Ford Shelby Cobra concept. The, the dark green was pretty good too, actually. Pretty good downhill racer. Okay, and the boosters, loops, and curves too. Jet Threat 4.0. And the kids know this. You see how they show it? They show it with the wings opened up. Yeah, these things on the top right here, these, these plastic parts, can't see it because of the color, but this part right here, it's one piece. You can open it up. The only thing is, is it's kind of hard to close it back up. Sometimes those wings pop off and uh, really hard to get back, really hard to close it back up. Here you have Grass Chomper in red. We already seen you in the last couple cases. 16 Camaro SS for you Forza Motorsports collectors. And it's a 2016 new model. It appeared in the last case. This is not the first appearance, but uh, it's not the first appearance. I was noticing, I've seen these in stores actually. Um, some stores get international cases in like Fry's Electronics. I seen them there and man, a lot of them had poor samples, but I got a couple good samples here. That's good. But <clears throat> I'm really uh, disappointed that that uh, Mazda Miata had that uh, jam in the wheel there. Can't stand that. So plowed, 2010 Ford Mustang GT. And here you have maximum leeway. I like a uh, soccer HW game series. It's like a soccer, I think. No, I don't think that's soccer. Boxing? I think that's boxing. Looks like he's got... Uh, I think he's got boxing gloves on. Mm, what do you think? What sport do you think that is? Doesn't say. I don't see anything to say. I think that's boxing. What do you think? <clears throat> you have box. Excuse me. You're, you're done. Baja Bone Shaker. Another carryover. Mm, I don't remember if the '69 Mercury Cyclone was in the last case assortment. I like this uh, casting myself. Another. Another model in the Flame series. This is number 10 of 10. So if you like that, uh, you look for nine other cars. Here's a 2016 new model, very first appearance. Here you have the 16 Ford Focus RS. Yep, another video game, Forza Motorsport. Actually, uh, is this one of the ones that you buy with the uh, pack? You, you can, they have downloadable content, DLC, and you can buy six Hot Wheels cars. Bone Shaker is one of them. I'm trying to remember if the 16 Ford Focus RS was another one of the cars. I think it was, as a matter of fact. Wow. Mmm, this looks clean. They give it a little bit of a sporty look, but uh, you know what? Otherwise, pretty clean. I like it. Three samples in this case. I'm sure I'll be using one of them for track time to test it out. I don't know if it'll be boosters, loops, or curves, or uh, downhill racing. I don't know. Uh, it just depends on what's happening at the time. The Dark Knight Batmobile from the trilogy, I believe. Uh, except this isn't uh, Dark Knight. It's Dark Blue. Still looks good. Nice um, change in the Batmobile collection. 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. 
Baja Bone Shaker. I don't know what's up. Uh, I don't know if it's too hot when they're sealing the packages, but the blister is like uh, tucked it down. I'm only I'm only mentioning it because um, if and I know Mattel watches my videos, uh, someone in production needs to keep an eye on that. Um, I don't know if it's because of that large blister or what it is. Cloud Cutter. I just play with the toy cars. Do we have another new model? What's down there? I was hoping that we would see the new model uh, Turbo. Turbot? Turbo? Uh, maybe, maybe not. 10 Camaro SS. Who's left? Hey, I got one. Now, it says Turbot. And Mattel does not help us with the uh, pronunciations. But uh, it might look like a robot. I'm not sure. But it actually has a moving part. Oh, I remember that. This opens up. I'm going to save it because I only have one right now. But th this something here with this clear plastic opens up. It has a movie. All right. I can't make the video. Bring it up and then say, um, and then not. Something here moves. Let's take a look at the back of the package. Oh, see, see, it looks like it's got an opening hood or something right there. Focus. Can you see it? It's a little hard to see. Here you go. Yeah, well, let's see. There you go. Now, why does this guy... They turn around and they give this guy an opening feature. There was another car to where they sealed it to where you can't open that up anymore. So why did they seal that? And now this one, they open up. Sometimes I don't understand what they're doing. They do one thing and then they don't do it for another. Nice satin blue paint. Now, it's, the name was, see the name, Turbot? I don't know if it's Turbot like it's a robot or is it the Turbo like it's French or something. How do you want to pronounce it, guys? Turbo? Or turbot, let me know. But uh, yeah, it looks like fun. It definitely looks like it'll be a track car. Yeah, there you go, track stars right on the package. Anyways, there's my unboxing video for the 2016 MK Sorman. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.